welcome back once again for another video I don't really have anything to vlog about today so let's just talk though what I really really want to talk about right now is to give you guys some update about my drone you know recently I received a drone as a gift someone gave it to me thank you very much and um, it's not a no offense to the person who gave it to me but it's not a really good and expensive high quality drone is just a cheap china made small pocket drone a selfie drone it's it's the e58 it's the e58 while it's an awesome drone it's really difficult a bit difficult to control because it's it's just a small drone it's a, it's it's a very small drone and a gust of wind could send it could easily send it sideways or you know it's hard to keep it stable and hovering at one place at any given time so flying it is a bit of a challenge and it's definitely fun I played it I played with it a lot many many times crashed it so many times but I learned the basics of how to control a drone and uh, while it's fun playing with it and all that the camera I'm not gonna lie the camera is total crap I mean seriously okay for one thing it doesn't record 1080p uh, resolution so it just records at 720p that's uh, very low the lowest uh, the lowest form of HD available the drone's all fun but the footage from its built-in camera is just total crap I mean you get that jelly effect you know with the, the blurred out colors I don't know man I don't even know how to explain it to you guys but here are some of the clips that I got from my drone Yeah, it's really crap. It's good for playing around with and uploading it to social media and stuff, but personally, I don't think it's vlog worthy. I don't think that kind of video really fits in well with a vlog. Well, no offense to the person who gave it to me. I really love that drone. I play with that. I play with it a lot. Uh, it's just that the footage from its built-in camera really really sucks and it don't doesn't really fit with drone footage that we use in a vlog instead of looking something like this it actually looks like this <laughs> So there you have it. Moving on. It's a good quality game. Why not? So yeah, I've been obsessed and crazy about this game for, for I think uh, a few months now. If you don't know what PUBG is, it's a war game. It's a war game based on the genre of Battle Royale. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up. Battle Royale is uh, basically what that means is, is uh, the concept of the game is that 
100 online players is put on a plane and these players jump out of, of the plane one by one landing on different spots scattered around the map the, the map provided and once they're on the ground they have to scavenge for for they have to look for weapons and and tools to survive so once they're equipped with all the weapons needed you know helmets and guns and medical kits and all that the <coughs> the main goal of the game is to stay alive and be the last man standing yeah so as they play around the the huge map it's a huge map as minutes go by the map shrinks the the safe zone area for them to play in within the circle decreases you know forcing all 100 players to be squashed in one small area and that's the interesting part that's where all the the clashes happen so it's a very fun game because it, for one it's an online game and uh, there's no lag from what I, from my experience I've been playing it there's no lag like 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 the ping is low enough to have a real-time uh, shooting experience it's a good quality game why not so yeah I've been obsessed and crazy about this game for for I think uh, a few months now so I have an idea why don't I try to mirror my phone to the TV to my smart TV and try to play the game through the TV screen that would be a, a damn awesome view man so I'm gonna do that shortly but the question is will there be a lag if I swipe it left then it goes left does it happen instantaneously on the TV screen or will, will, will there be like a couple of milliseconds delay or something right so I'm gonna have to check on that as well so I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna do you know a few minutes of gameplay time you know why not why not hmm okay so I swipe it swipe it Oh, it works. Tomorrow. Hey, so sorry last night I had to stop recording because uh, I managed to project the game on the TV screen and I became very excited I stopped recording so um, I have an idea I mean in order to show you guys what PUBG really is I found a way to record my mobile phone screen so I'm gonna do that and um, I'm just gonna tell you up front that I don't usually do gaming videos I'm not a gaming vlogger vlogger gamer vlogging gamer and I'm definitely not trying to be PewDiePie or anything like that uh, I just this is just a one-time thing I'm I just want to show you guys what PUBG really is so switching to phone screen mode right away How the bag, the essentials like the bag and helmet is very important. Helmet uh, lets you take a few bullet hits to the head, and bags let you carry weapons, more weapons. Check out the map here. It's a big map. Now, in this map, we have to always be inside the circle, the white circle you see there. So when the circle shrinks, it will force all 100 players to one spot. Now that's where the climactic moment begins. Hey. 
like that. Okay, got one kill. That dude's just standing there. So that. You can see it, you can see that? Bombs are landing from the side. So. During this red period, staying indoors is the best. Wow, oh, there comes another one. Die, 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 die. How dare you come near me to my building here? Beg for mercy. Dude, don't run away. Okay, I'll end you right now. Dude. Yo, stay put. Ah. Uh, then you can, you know, you can steal the stuff that he has. He has helmets and clothes and some RPGs, and some guns. So it's time to rush towards the circle. You've been out from the circle for too long. In cases like this, a vehicle is best. I mean, you should find a car. There, there are a few cars and trucks and motorbikes scattered around the map. And that would be the most ideal method is to get into a vehicle and just drive towards the circle. And yeah, I'm trying to look for, for transport right now. Again, I'll say this again, I'm just doing this for fun, I don't usually do gaming videos, I'm not trying to be PewDiePie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, my friend came to pick me up. Dude. Oh, thank God, I don't have to run anymore. So, yeah. And you can voice chat on this game as well. On the top right corner, there's a mic button and an audio button. You can activate those and, you know, speak. Speak to other players in real time. It's pretty neat. It's like playing game, playing a game on, on the computer. Online game nowadays, they don't chat using the keyboard anymore. They, they don't type it in anymore. They just speak. Okay, the one thing. Yeah, the one thing.
okay, I'm dead. So that's uh, that's what PUBG looks like, more or less. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Number nine. Okay, again, thanks for watching. Do we meet again in the next one? Leave it, blog at the movement. It's real, guys. Peace.